Sleepy Hollow, it's a, it's a nice trailer park. On a scale from one to ten, I will give it a, like an eight or nine. Sleepy Hollow is como el último recurso de las personas. I really like it, Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> I took the manager's job in December. It wasn't a job I wanted, but I needed a job. And now I'm trying to do what I need to do to clean the park up. The park is really ran down. So I'm 60 years old almost. So you look younger. Well, thank you. It's, it's the die. <laughs> this park's been here since probably 1940. Yeah, here's what the park used to look like. It was really a nice park. We had over 400 spaces. We were totally full. Yeah. How long have you been here? 19 years. The whole park has changed. You know, this used to be a five-star park. Well, I get 876 a month. And 500 goes to the landlord. Plus, of course, there's electricity and gas, which makes another about 115 a month. You don't have a whole lot for food. We had the American dream, you know. When you get old, you live in luxury and in these beautiful condominiums. <laughs> you know, I mean, we worked all our lives. And so we should, we should be able to take it easy. So, well, that's the way our water is. We're out of water three or four times a week and it's really sad. The owner, he used to put money into this park, and it, it's a loss. It's just a total loss. That's why they're as is when you move in. They're, they're rented as is. You know, some move in and destroy them, so. Some do nice jobs. You can make it a home. Well, this is my home. Uh, the living room slash kitchen slash dining room. We get the, the lighting, we paint it. It's a nice, cozy home, and it's the the main thing is that it's it's mine. A lot of people move in to mobile homes because you pay thirty five hundred dollars, and it's yours. It's your home. Yeah, it's a good thing when you have a small place. You can just and it's done. They used to be called trailers, and now we call them mobile homes. It's, it sounds more a lot better. <laughs> This is the old manager's place, and don't be shocked too much, please. This is what she lived in for three years. She moved out three weeks ago. Look at the cockroaches that this lady was living in. They stole the like, wires out of the walls. They come in and they steal the electrical wires out of it. Would you move in here and live like this? No. Yeah. There's people that can, there's people that will. I just can't believe that people in our economy, in our world today, still live this way. I've been living here almost five months. I live with my dad and my brother and my brother's girlfriend and my sister and my nephew. I want to be a cosmetology person, so I'm going to Empire Beauty School to learn about it. So far I know that makeup is not that you, you just put makeup to look pretty, it's, it's an art. I wish I could be in the theater someday and I like to make some movies and if you don't give up, like, you will get in it, like, you will do it, like you can do it. Para nosotros esto es temporal. Antes de mudarnos aquí al Trailer Park, mi esposo tenía su casa, pero se vino el tiempo de la recesión y él tuvo que vender su casa. Mi esposo trabaja todos los días, pero no tiene suficiente dinero para poder vivir en otro lugar. Para mí eh, la casa es, el, es un santuario, ¿verdad? Es donde convivimos, donde hablamos de nuestros problemas. Tenemos planes, ¿verdad? No, de superarnos. 
I, I, I don't think it's hard. A lot of people tell me, you know, well, how do you do it? I said, you got to apply yourself. You, 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 you got to strive. It's the land of opportunities. The land of the freedom, the land of opportunities. So yeah, God bless America. Mm -hmm.